If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn Chaos Engineering series. In this video, we are going to see how you can run your litmus chaos experiment if you have two different AWS account. Consider this architecture. On a very high level, you have your uh, AWS uh, EKS, which is running the uh, litmus chaos uh, application. And on the other hand, you have your uh, application drug test, basically your customer account. Assume that you want to perform some experiment on Nginx, which is residing on your different account. So how the litmus chaos, which is hosted in this account, can access the Nginx EC2 instance, which is in the other AWS account. So that is what we are going to see, how you can implement this structure. All you need is, you need to have the uh, EKS uh, cluster, which should have the litmus chaos. On the uh, other hand, you should have the application test on a different AWS account. On your chaos account, basically our uh, performance engineers account, where we have our litmus chaos, the first step is you need to make sure the OIDC URL the our provider is present or not. If not, you can run the EKS CTL utils command to create one. So this is only thing you need to do on your account. On the other hand, on the customer account, you need to create the identity provider. I will show you in the demo how you can create the uh, identity provider. And then you need to create a policy. It should have all the action resource etc and then you need to create a role and then you have to attach the policy so these are the steps you need to follow in the customer account then you need to annotate your service account in this case in the namespace litmus and the service account name is litmus admin here you need to annotate the role you have created then if you run your experiment everything will go fine so now let us see a quick demo how to achieve this. In my left side, I have my account. So this has the uh, EKS. So if I click on Elastic uh, Kubernetes Service, uh, you can see there will be one uh, cluster which will be up and running called the Chaos account here. On, on the other hand, in the right side, I have my customer account. So in this account, we are going to do certain tasks so that from EKS cluster, we can access the EC2 instance in the other account. The very first step is launch IAM and go to identity providers. So here, let me uh, select this and delete this. Let us start over. So I'm going to uh, delete the existing uh, OIDC. Now, first step is to create the provider. So just to click on add provider here. And here you need to select the open ID connect. So this is the provider type. And in the provider URL, you need to copy the URL from your Chaos account. So I'm going to access the uh, IAM in my account. And then uh, if you click on identity providers, you will get one URL. So you have to copy and paste it here. So this is my provider. So I'm going to copy this and paste it here. Make sure you have the HTTPS and I click on get thumbprint. So this will get the uh, thumbprint. And in the audience, you need to enter sts.amazonaws.com and then click on add provider. So this will generate one OIDC provider. Basically, it is connecting between two accounts. Next step is to create a policy. Just click on policy on your customer account and click on create policy and give a meaningful name. So in this case, I'm going to uh, pass the JSON instead of Visual Editor. And then I'm going to click on Next Tags. And again, Review. And let us say uh, Customer uh, EC2 Chaos. And then I'm going to click on Create Policy. After creating a policy, the next step is to create a role. Just click on Role and click on create role button. So here you need to select web identity. And in the drop down, select the OADC provider and select the audience and click on next. 
Here you need to attach the policy which we have created. So in this case, customer EC2 chaos and select this and scroll down and click on next and give a name. So here I'm going to enter again customer EC2 role and scroll down and click on create role. So once you click on create role, make sure uh, you it is created actually and go inside and click on the ARN. Just copy the ARN of the role you have created. Now go to your terminal and here you have to annotate. So here, so this is my annotate service account and I'm going to delete the, the previous one and then I'm going to paste the ARN. And if you hit enter, this will annotate the litmus admin service account in the litmus namespace. Now if you describe the litmus namespace and the service account is uh, litmus uh, admin and if you hit enter you can see the annotation so now we are good to run the experiment in my customer account i already have one ec2 instance which is up and running so if you just select this as you see i am running one uh, customer web app and i'm going to copy the instance id now i'm going to launch my litmus uh, chaos application and I click on schedule workflow and again follow the wizard select the agent select the workflow type from chaos hub click on next give some name click on next and add a new experiment and search for ec2 select it click on done and click on the edit pen icon and add your instance id and the region is us east one i guess let me double check so it is in north virginia which is us east one now click on finish and make sure you remove the secrets from the yaml search for a secrets keyword and remove in line number 71 and also you need to remove the whole secret mapping here so once you're done click on save changes next 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 finish and go to workflow so now let me open my lens ide so this will uh, start the uh, the pod the respective pod so right now it is already started let us wait a few more moment so that we can see the experiment pod okay now the experiment pod has been uh, triggered let me click on uh, pod logs as you see it is uh, able to contact the ec2 instance and instance status running after a while it will uh, stop the instance now let me go to my customer account let me maximize this and if you hit refresh and let me remove the filter as you see it is stopping and after a while it will uh, restart basically the duration of the experiment is 30 seconds so after 30 seconds it will automatically start so this is how you make use of irsa iam role for service account uh, via two AWS accounts so that you can access from account uh, one account to another account. So I hope this video is pretty useful and all the detailed instructions is available in the blog article link in the description. Please check it out and have a good day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.